now related to the IR spectroscopy itself. Uh, what does it say? Let's see. It says that HCl has a force constant of 480 Newton per meter. So we have an HCl molecule which actually has a uh, for which the force constant is given to us. Okay. Now the force constant is given to us. We have to calculate the fundamental frequency and its wave number. So let's see how we proceed further for this particular problem. So uh, fundamental frequency is required and its wave number is also required. No problem but the force constant is given to us. So let's proceed with the what is given for us. So we have mu is equal to, we know that it is equal to m1 times m2 upon m1 plus m2. The two masses which are given to us and what are those two masses? Those of that of hydrogen and chlorine. Okay, so uh, let's see what it is. So m1 and m2 I take as hydrogen and chlorine respectively. So it will be hydrogen is 1 it's it's given in the formula HCl it's given in the superscript so 1 into 35 m2 is 35 divided by m1 plus m2 that means 1 plus 35 okay so this much is given to us okay but yes of course it is uh, the masses are in atomic mass unit so I need to convert it into the grams or kilograms okay I am doing it in kilograms because here Newton per meter is given as a force constant so it will be apt for me to use the kilogram part over here so this is 10 raised to the power minus 3 because I have converted it into kilograms and I divided by 6.023 times 10 raised to the power 23 okay so uh, what do i get here what have i done i have divided it by the avogadro number and the answer for me which was coming it was in grams i want to get it done in kilograms so i multiply it by 10 is power minus 3 so i get how much kilograms now 1.615 times 10 raised to the power minus 20 7 kilograms is obtained now i have got the reduced mass okay reduced mass so what do i have now i have the value for reduced mass i have the value for k now the fundamental frequency a wave number is required so now it's it's easier for me to do the calculations okay so mu is equal to 1 over 2 pi times k over mu okay so this frequency it is equal to 1 over 2 into pi I take it as 3.14 okay and you can use 3.142 also and force constant is given to me as 480 and reduced mass that I have obtained is 1.6.15 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kilograms okay so what do I get after calculations I get this uh, gets solved to 8.676 times 10 raised to the power of 13 hertz so this is my frequency value okay now I need to get the wave number also so I it requires both frequency and wave number which is equal to okay uh, which is equal to if I take it as mu naught okay so mu is equal to mu naught over c so that will be 8.676 times 10 raised to the power 13 divided by the value of c that means the speed that is 3 into 10 raised to the power of 8 meter per second so when i solve this i get 2.894 times 10 raised to the power 5 per meter i need to convert it into centimeter inverse so it will be very simple it will be 2894 centimeter inverse this is the wave number okay this was the frequency and this is the wave number we represent the wave number as mu bar also so you can write mu bar also it's one and the same thing